Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing's uh, New Horizons. I'm Nye. As Nook's about to tell you, today is March 26th, 2020, at 10.37 a.m. It's a happy Thursday. Today's news. We have gained a new neighbor today, probably our last one for a mile, Melba. Be very busy unpacking today, considering Anna and her. One more bit of important news to wrap things up. It's so wonderful to see all the enthusiasm for island life. Our population is certainly growing. Isle Decony is becoming a rather bustling place. Our goal, as always, is to provide you all with the top quality support you deserve. And so please note, Resident Services will soon relocate from its current tent into a new, more permanent building. It's a big move, and construction will take some time, so we'll be closed tomorrow. Please check on lost uh, items at the recycle box, or use the Nook Stop today while it's available. Yes, yes? That's all for me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. Well, that's exciting. It's kind of nice to see these gradual upgrades that we get throughout the game. I don't know if you guys necessarily feel the same way, but it's kind of neat to kind of see the game uh, slowly and gradually upgrade. It does seem to be taking a moment. Okay, there we go. Uh, give me just a second here. I apologize. Gonna pause this recording for just a second. Sorry about that. And now I'm back. It was kind of nice yesterday to talk about a topic that someone was interested in hearing. So, uh, if you guys are interested in hearing me wax on about particular topics, if you're curious about what I have to say, or you just want to see how ignorant I happen to be, uh, absolutely leave, uh, leave comments. You know, let me know what I should be talking about, if there's something particular that you're interested in. Uh, generally, I'm going to try to be a fairly open book, so if there's anything that comes up that you want to hear about, do let me know. Otherwise, I'm curious how you guys do with, uh, with hobbies. So when it comes to a hobby of yours, do you just, you know, do you go all in? Do you, do you dip your toe in and say, let me try this out? Or do you guys go, you know what, this is uh, something I'm interested in, so therefore I'm going to, you know, get everything I need, buy it all, and let's go. Uh, I did um, a bunch of fishing. I have a bunch of fish I actually have to get out of the house. Uh, didn't really get anything new, I don't think. We did, however, get the pan flute do-it-yourself uh, recipe. So I can have a pan fruit and an ocarina. We also got the bamboo wall decoration. Just random recipes and bottles that I was able to find. I really need to send uh, this one off to someone. Let's see. So we have... Oh! The Nook Mileage Program. There's the item we claimed. Nook Shopping for KK House. Our Rubber Toad Stickers. A magazine, a tulip hat, and oval glasses. We have something from Dodo Airlines. Just wanted to thank you for flying Dodo Airlines. We know you don't have a lot of options, but thanks for choosing us all the same. We hope you enjoyed this bit of custom DAL merch. Nifty, right? Your pals at Dodo Airlines. Neat. And a friend sent me something. I'll have to go take a look. I need to send them this recipe uh, in return. Let, let's take a look. Let's see what let's see what swag we got. So we have the customizable phone case kit. Gonna have to figure out exactly how that works. KK House being our new song. We have the rubber toe sneakers. Let's go ahead and wear that. We have the magazine. The tulip hat. Darn right, I'm gonna wear that. Oval glasses. We have the D-A-L-T. Nice. And my friend got me a utility pole. Okay. Let's not let's not argue about a utility pole. That's a thing. Okay. So first let's let's do our let's do the necessary, right? Let's go ahead and register in. KK House. Groovy. I like it. Okay. Oh, nope. Those aren't the right shoes. 
that in storage, put that in storage, that in storage. Probably not going to use the magazine or utility pole right now, or the essay set. When I have more room and, uh, you know, when we actually end up seeing, um, like, another room that can make it into, like, an office or something like that, uh, we'll go for that. Okay, I don't think any of this was new. I just ended up picking up a bunch of things, uh, kind of in the middle of the night, um, so I couldn't sell them. How are we looking? Uh, this needs to go into storage. I need to dispose of the boot, because I don't... I, I'm not thinking we're probably going to have anything else to do with a boot. Gonna have to go. We're going to go check that with that customizable phone case kit in just a second here. So I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have the extra space. That's, that's cool. We're going to go... We'll come back and we'll pick that up in a second. So yeah. H how do you guys... When it comes to hobbies, when it comes to getting into things, how do you guys do it? You know, is, is it you just kind of... Um, okay, let's customize something. Let's see. Customizable phone case kit. These kits can be used to change the appearance of your Nook phone. If you use custom design, your Nook phone will keep its appearance even if that design is changed later. Ooh. Cool. Should I, use, should I use my terrible Pokeball? I'm going to use my terrible Pokeball for now. I think I'm actually going to bring one of my emotes in um, later on. Which will be kind of neat. There's my terrible Pokeball. Okay. let's Let's get on with it. The reason I ask is I'm, I'm trying to... I, I, I need something, right, to... Um, hey, there's a koi here that I left here. We'll go ahead and pick that up, too. I'm, I'm trying to do something to uh, both get me out of the house and also to uh, exercise a lot. They're, they have a science kit. Oh, I am all in. Oh, baby. What do I need today? I need to sell. I need to give you guys all of this stuff because none of this is needed. I'll take 21,000 bells, absolutely. Uh, we'll be right back because I have to go get that koi. So I'm, you know, I'm trying to you know, both get myself out of the house but also give myself a good way to exercise. So I've been doing you know, riding my bike. And I've been enjoying it. Old-fashioned wash tub. I don't think I have the ability to make that. So I've been riding my bike. So it's, it's nothing huge because it's a very flat area, New Orleans. But I'm up to like eight miles, which feels good as someone who's very out of shape and not um, not doing occasionally well. And I'm finding, you know, adjusted my adjusted my seat so my knees don't hurt today. Um, oh, now I need the tiger butterfly. I have a, I have a quest from uh, someone to bring a butterfly. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up the microscope. Yeah, it's kind of expensive, but I'll take it. What about what about this uh, anthurium plant? I'll buy that too. Okay. We have a Mr. Flamingo. Three thousand bells. And shh, talk about the chemistry kit. A lab experiment set. 6,000 bells. Holy crap, that's expensive. Worth it, though. Okay, what's going on over here? Anything interesting? We do have a logo umbrella. It's interesting, but I don't need it. There. Okay, customization kits. Okay, so test your wildest dreams do it yourself. A digital d recipe book. Up, uh, sure, I'll buy it. I'm curious what is in this. Oh, 
let's see. So we had that. We have these recipes. I'm not really worried about those. Um... Now nah, I'm good with what I have now. So, you know, now that I'm I'm riding, riding, the question is, okay, what, what do I want to do next? Well, for safety's sake, I need, like, a light on my on my bike. I need a lighted, um, you know, a lighted front and a lighted back to my bike. Not a, uh, not a tremendously, you know, taxing thing. I can get a light, so I went and bought that. And what I'm also finding is that I have, uh, two different issues with my, uh, handlebars. Um... Yeah, as I've as, as said in the past, the bike was left out in uh, in the rain for a long time. So it rusted, so I need to do some, you know, rust removal on the actual um, handlebars themselves, the metallic sections. But this was also a problem because the uh, I put all the bamboo up there, by the way, in case you were curious where that all went. Um, but also, the, the vulcanized rubber of the... Uh, handlebars um, does what vulcanized rubber always does when it gets wet for an excessive period of time, and now it's rubbing off, leaving black crap all over my hands. So that's one issue. The other issue is that I apparently lean fairly firmly on my palms when I'm riding, and my hands end up, you know, aching uh, at mid-ride. So, uh, you know, I got myself some gloves. Um, also got myself a, uh, a phone mount for my bike, so that way I can, like, change music as I'm riding. Or, if in the near future I plan to, you know, go for much longer rides. My rides right now are, you know, 8 miles over the course of about 45 minutes. Which is not terrible. It's not good either. So, we're not going to pretend like this is a, uh, you know, impressive, um, you know, time. But, it's a long ride. So, in case I need to talk to someone, you know, check messages, things like that. Got that. Uh, you know, I've considered getting a new water bottle that, uh, the water bottle that I have now, okay, I need a, uh, I need to get myself a fishing rod. The water bottle I have now is fine. It's a metallic, you know, camping water bottle, but it's kind of hard to get out from, uh, the water bottle holder on my bike. So that's kind of a problem. The other problem is that it's got a screw top lid and just got kind of like an open, why am I looking over here? It's got like an open mouth, uh, that I can just drink from. But that means it's a little bit harder to drink from while I'm actually riding. I really want to make an item as, like, an homage to my fave pop star and came up with this recipe. I'll share it with you since you have found this bottle. You'll totes love it, too. To the lucky duck who found this, Bubbles Master Crafter. A cardboard sofa. Okay. So I realized that... You know, at this point, I have spent a fair amount of money both getting my bike back in order, but also uh, in getting accessories that are going to be useful. Things like a bike lock, a helmet, and these other things that I got. And I realized that I'm not even sure, just at, you know, at the moment, I am not 100% certain how much riding I'm going to be doing. Like, I don't even know if this is going to be a thing that I will be continuing for the foreseeable future. Uh, but at the same time... Okay, that's not good. But at the same time, I've went and spent all this money. And that's pretty normal of me, actually, um, as a person. Whenever I get into a hobby, whenever there's a thing that I'm like, man, uh, this is, you know, this is a thing I want to do. We should probably check our Nook Miles. He's got Nook Miles for hitting rocks. But also, I know we got trash tools, because I've broken a bunch of tools so far. Broken 20 tools. Overboard Crusher. Good things in store. Uh, let's see. Based on the number of things we have in storage, we have 106 now. At Capacity Manager. Ooh, 2,000 points just for that. Anything else? No? Okay. Okay. But I'm, I'm very much the all-in type of person. When I decide that I'm going to go do something, I'm, I'm in. And that's really all there is to it. It's never really a, uh, a feeling for me that I'm just going to kind of, you know, ease my way in. You know, I just go and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's go ahead and sell. 
bunch of fruit and such. 16,000 bells, not bad. That wasn't a lot of trees, by the way. We have other fruit trees. So that wasn't bad at all. But yeah, it, it's, it very much um, is a me thing that I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in. When I got back into magic, you know, it was let me go buy a bunch of a bunch of cards. Let me make sure I have, you know, deck cases and sleeves. Let me get dice. I'm going to get, you know, I got I got everything. Because when I decide to go in, when I decide to go do a thing like that, um, as I said, I'm all in. It's not going to be, there's never going to be a situation um, for me where I'm not sure I want to go in on something. By the time I've decided to spend a dollar, I've decided I'm going to spend 50 or however much it's going to be. Uh, but I think that's also because as a... Um, you know, kind of as a person who gets into this stuff. Uh, damn it, I really wish I had a fishing rod. But a as a person who gets into this stuff, you know, when I when I get into these things, it's not spur the moment for me. You know, when I get into uh, a hobby or something like that, I've probably thought about it for a while and and considered. Um. You know, I knew that I was going to need a light for my bikes. That was nothing, uh, crap. Uh, that was not new, and that was not news. Like, I knew that I would need a light for my bike. Uh, I knew that I would need, um... I didn't really think I... I, I didn't know, you know. Like, I knew I needed a, a, a light was the major thing. But then at the same time, in addition to the light... Like, I knew there might be some other things I needed, and as I kind of looked around, I saw that a lot of uh, bikers were um, using phone mounts. It's like, okay, that makes sense. I should probably do that. And then after, uh, you know, a couple of rides, I really did notice that I, you know, my hands were aching. So it's like, okay, I need to figure something out for that. So, but these were, these were not things that were, like, spur of the moment. Hey, I happen to be in Walmart, and, you know, I see these on the rack, and it's like, hey, I want to buy this. This was stuff that I was considering in the first place. I'm still, you know, I kind of wanted to get myself a, um, uh, a backpack as well. Because I'm, you know, if I ride to, like, Walgreens or something like that to pick up some medicine, I want to be able to put it in the backpack instead of having, like, a bag. So those are things I thought too, but for some reason I could not find backpacks at Walmart today. Walmart was kind of weird too. You know, I went uh, both to pick up these items to, you know, support this hobby. But in addition to that, I also went to pick up uh, groceries. And I was, it was, you know, probably 8.30, 8.45 when I got there, and Walmart's running on uh, reduced hours right now because of the whole virus thing. Um, so I was expect, but I, like, based on how crazy things have been, I definitely kind of expected more of a, uh, I definitely expected more of a crowd. Yeah, I expected more items to be sold out. And keep in mind, there was a, I hear the balloon. I'm looking for it. There it is. Um, I expected a much larger crowd. I expected a much harder time getting the things that I was looking for. Um, okay. I also expected, honestly, more people to be taking bigger precautions. I did see a fair amount of face masks. I saw a fair amount of gloves. But they were... Oh, come on. Um, I'm not going to say necessarily that they were few and far between, but they weren't as prevalent as I was expecting them to be. Keep in mind, I was, you know, pot meets kettle. I was also not, um, you know, wearing a glove, wearing gloves or a face mask. Um, I wasn't wearing the face mask because my understanding from, like, the CDC is that a face mask isn't going to help you. Um... 
I need wood. Okay, that's kind of annoying. But my understanding is, like, you know, the face mask isn't going to help if you don't have it yet, because it's not... It doesn't block well enough. Um, which is fine, you know. What else do I need? I need a shovel. But I can't make a shovel right now because I don't have hardwood. Uh, so let's... Get some wood. Um, yeah, so it's a, for me, I guess it's a little bit of cot, uh, you know, pot meets kettle sort of deal. But at the same time, I'm also like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit surprised. Uh, New Orleans not doing all that hot when it comes to, uh, you know, the coronavirus. There's a lot of people here have it. So I was kind of amazed. That being said, it was fairly empty. Like, people are, you know, taking this stay-at-home thing fairly seriously. Yes, it is, you know, a Thursday morning at 9 a.m., so I guess you should, you know, there's only so much uh, you should expect people to be doing. But, you know, I don't know. I kind of expect people to do more. I'm glad they're not, but I did expect them to do more. Okay. So there's my shovel. Okay. Wooden fish. Interesting. Let's craft a uh, more solid shovel. Uh, craft a more solid axe. And a more solid fishing rod. Okay, there we go. Oh, apparently, we did a bunch of stuff for Nook Miles. I'll take it. I'm not. I'm, I'm never going to be anti Nook Miles. More do it yourself tools. We have made 50 of them. Jeez. Crafty club member. Looking forward to seeing the next. Uh, I guess the next step up for tools. Didn't I? I think I had... Let me go... What's my inventory look like? Let me go check the house, because I could have sworn... Um... I could have sworn I had more fossils to turn in. Ah, yeah. I have two axes. Ooh, and another fishing rod. I need to be aware of those. Yeah, I don't know. I've always, I've always been one to. I guess I, I would rather spend more money now, and know that I don't need to spend any more money later. And I don't know if I don't know where that puts me in terms of, uh, you know, regular everyday folk. Like, I don't know if that's, you know, because a lot of people would rather spend a little bit of money now, but I, I'm kind of, as I said, I'm, I'm in the opposite boat. I would prefer to spend more money now, knowing that down the line, I'm not expecting anything else. So it's a very weird thing, because, you know, I was in a, um, a retail environment for a long time where it was my job to sell warranties. And people get very leery about warranties. They're, they're, you know, they're worried that you're taking them for a ride, that you're, you know, getting them to spend money that they shouldn't spend. Uh, and I, that's a completely understandable, you know, worry. I'm not saying that they have, you know, no reason to do that. But I hear from a lot of retail people, people who uh, sell warranties, that they would never buy a warranty. They think it's a waste of money. But I have had so many... Hey, there's our koala friend. Hey, Melba. Did you come in to check on me? You're so sweet and I. I've relocated, but as you can see, I've got a lot of unpacking to do. Thanks for convincing me to make this change. I'm excited to be here. Uh, but yeah, like, a lot of people who sell warranties, you know, eventually say, yeah, I would never buy a warranty. They're a waste of time. 
But I have had so many things from cars to, you know, I can't tell you how many times I've replaced my keyboard because I accidentally spilled something on it. Um, are you doing yoga? Sometimes when I can't wake up in the morning, I run in circles and scream really loud for a few minutes. Oh, so that's what happened this morning. The bugs are loving that springtime warmth. I'm loving it too. Anything else? Want to hear something totes awesome? We might be able to see a meteor shower tonight. The weather is fab right now, so I'm writing my list of wishes to make once those stars start shooting. I gotta remember to keep an eye out for that tonight. Apparently you can actually wish upon shooting stars. Uh, Broccolo's out. He's the per he's the reason I'm uh, holding on to uh, that... Uh, there he is. He's the reason holding on to the butterfly. He asked me to give it to him. Hi, Broccolo. What's the latest? Aldecne is the perfect size. Too big. Oh, yeah. We've seen that one before. Do you not want this butterfly? Have you met the new neighbor yet? I'm going to grab my best. Oh, yeah. We... I heard you say this yesterday. What a nice morning. Eat it. The skies are real clear. Hope it keeps up. Maybe we'll see the meteor shower tonight. Okay, so everybody's talking about the meteor shower tonight. I'm uh, I'm really hoping I get to see it. Supposedly, you can wish upon the stars and something happens. But yeah, I, I've, I've used so many warranties, and they've gotten me out of, you know, really big payments and issues. You know, you think of a... I, what, what example is just tires... Uh, my car, I paid for, um, you know, road warranty for my tires in case, you know, road hazard warranty. And uh, I, I have picked up so many nails, I cannot even tell you. Um, and they were just covered. And you think about, like, how much it costs to replace tires and things like that. So that's just kind of like I'll, you know, I'll pick up, I'll pick up warranties, I'll pick up accessories, because it's I, I don't want to be put in a situation where later on in the line, man, I wish I had this. You know, sometimes you can buy it again, but there's often times when it's inconvenient or sometimes you just can't do it. You know, whatever for whatever reason, you just are unable to get that accessory that you need. Okay, so what I don't know... Oh, no! Crap. Oh, well. Never mind, then. I don't know if I can put in 32,000 bells and get 32,000 bells back. Uh, but I know I can put 10,000 in. But I screwed up. So... We are not going to get a 30,000 bell tree later on. Which kind of sucks, but... We're running for the long haul. Taking our time doing this stuff. Let's go see how Boone's doing. He's building. Perfect timing. Come take a look. What's that? You're not going to believe it. I made a tulip surprise box. I was out jogging the other day, and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. Yep. I absolutely want to do a tulip surprise box. I'm enjoying collecting these do-it-yourselves. I have no idea what that's good for, but... Have I met... Uh, yes, I have met them. Apparently, I have a thing I can give him. And if I give him a thing, he'll give me a thing. So... Anything I don't really want. Here, have a Mr. Flamingo. Whoa, that looks like a Mr. Flamingo. You've been working those kindness muscles, haven't you? I can't wait to show this off. I was also looking for an excuse to move my stuff around, so this really is perfect. You're so generous. Here's 975 bells to bulk up your bank account. <laughs> oh, okay, I didn't know that was something that could happen. Okay, one more. Keeping it simple with a D-A-L-T, huh? I get it, ba-boom. You don't want to take any tension away from those sublime triceps. Damn right. Uh, one day I will actually have triceps, and it will be a good day. That day is not today. Mm -hmm. 
I remember, uh, when I was younger, it was brought up that, you know, I, I have kind of a, it, it's definitely weird if you go look at my dad. My dad is a very tall, or was a very tall, and, uh, kind of thin individual. Um, he, he definitely had the biker's physique. But, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit shorter and stockier. So, I could probably have that big build if I wanted to. If I really put some effort in, like, I probably could be all muscular and such. Which is a shame, because I would love to have that skinnier, you know, that skinnier look. I love how that looks on people. What brings you here? This is yours. What do I got? Uh, I have... What do I have? Here, have a butterfly, because you're trying to catch stuff. Is that a tiger butterfly? Looks kind of cool. Thanks, Nye. I'll make sure its life totally rocks. All right. It's going to need a name. You know what? We're just going to call it Nye for now. Wow. Uh, I did not try to attack you. I promise. What's the latest? That new bridge is great. I had no idea how annoyed I was get it, uh, getting when I tried to cross the river. I've already caught myself standing on it and staring into the horizon a few times. What a view. Yeah. Got to find whoever put it there and thank them. Well, that was me. And one more. Stars shine brightest on clear nights. I can't wait to see the show tonight. Oh, yep. Everybody's talking about the meteor shower. I'm hoping to I'm hoping to see the meteor shower, and I'm hoping to record it for you guys. That way you can see it too. I hope you guys don't miss yours, for those of you who are uh, also playing Animal Crossing with me. They seem to be somewhat random. So, I have no idea, you know, when all of you guys will be getting your shot at a video shower. I'm looking for my, uh, for my money rock. We haven't found it yet. Now, you can end up breaking, I think it's one rock per day. Like, break break. And you kind of get rewards out of it. And rocks respawn at a rate of one per day. I'm not sure if I actually want to do that, though. It's probably that rock. I haven't done that rock yet. Just got gotta get this money, you know. I want I want my house paid off. I want to get the next upgrade to my house. And we are a bit of a distance away from getting that. Keep in mind as we get more of these um you know, more of these fossils over time. Uh, and as I, you know, stop being an idiot and I start getting the three, uh, 30,000 bell trees and such. But as we start to see that, you know, we're we're definitely going to start to see uh, bigger and bigger upgrades. There we go. That's what I want. There is definitely a bunch of fish up on the cliff sides that I have not gotten. I need to spend up here with a fishing rod. Oh, crap. Damn. Okay, let's go turn in. Yeah, as I get more fossils, like, and as, as we start really digging into the fossil game, we're going to start seeing a lot more fossils that, you know, I have already. And we're going to be able to sell those. Those are going to be worth a fair amount of money. Uh, you know, fish are going to be really good once I kind of learn more about how to fish well. Let's go turn into blathers. I was reading an article. I was kind of surprised. A lot of people are pissed about some things in Animal Crossing, uh, and uh, if you got if you guys are one of them, uh, I do apologize ahead of time uh, for my little rant that's about to go off. But people are review bombing uh, Animal Crossing, and it's some of it's silly stuff. Like for example, they're upset that you only get one town in Animal Crossing, so you, you get one island. That's about it. Um. And they're saying, you know, man, it's, it's one island per switch. It's not even it's not even based on, you know, it's not one, you know, one town per cartridge, one town per switch. And I'm just thinking to myself, well, yes, that makes sense because the switch doesn't save to cartridge. It saves to the switch. What do we get? Demetrodon torso, Diplo tail tip, Archelon tail, Sabertooth tail, Ophthalmo torso, and another Ophthalmo torso. But well, we got to sell that one. 
Cool, we get to sell that. Uh, cool. But, you know, some people were upset that, you know, they you only get one town. But that's always been the case with Animal Crossing. That, that's that been a thing since the beginning. And, yes, I can understand they're a little bit upset that, you know, it's not changed. But this isn't something that, you know, you used to be able to get. Um, getting Nook Miles based on the number of bosses you've uh, assessed. 30. Nice. Ancient Truth. Uh, it, it, it's kind of a silly thing. And then also there were some um, some complaints about the fact that if you're not player one, if you're not the original, there are some decisions and changes that you don't get to make if you're not the first person in that town. I can understand that one a little bit more. But again, this has been how Animal Crossing has been since day one, you know? So I'm not really sure. I mean, yes, on the GameCube you could, I guess, swap out you know, memory cards and get another town. But we don't use memory cards anymore. It's all based on internal memory. I don't know. It, it, it just seems kind of a three-quarter sweatpants. I'll claim that. And, a, and another cardboard box. Wow, those cardboard boxes, man. Uh, where are the... For some reason, everybody is getting rid of those cardboard boxes. Anything interesting? What should I do? That is the question. Nothing new. Okay. Okay, so let's... 300 bonus miles for day 7. Anything interesting to redeem for? So, brick fence, imperial... Oh, I like the imperial fence. Aloha shirt, ink tea, blouse on, bandage cap, eye mask, socks, slippers, knapsack, umbrella... I think one of these is new. Um, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and spend to get these additional to yourself fences. I don't know when we're gonna be using these, but they're here. I've been wa uh, looking on uh, like Twitter and such. And I've got some you know bunch of friends who are playing Animal Crossing. Um, on a on a side note, and uh, a lot of people have really super customized their islands, things like that. But it the amount of time traveling they had to do to be able to do that. I'm enjoying kind of gliding my way through. Uh, I think that's everything I want out of here. We have the do-yourself phone case kit, and uh, we I don't need a Nook Miles ticket at the moment. So, having done that, let's go ahead and look at Nook Shopping. So, we definitely want KK Condor. Okay, let's see. Slip on loafers. I'll pass. I'll pass. Already have it. Hollow tea? Sure, why not? I think I already have it. Sure. Yes. And yes. I think that's everything. And let's go to the ABD and pay a bunch of money towards my load. A little bit less than half paid off. So nice. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to figure out how I feel about the review bombing, because on the one hand, um, oh nope, wrong button. Keep doing that. Spin bells to buy items. Nice. So on the one hand, especially having, as I said, been a person who was very into, um, or not very into, but a as a person who, you know, once upon a time was a, you know, salesperson, um, I had, I've spent a lot of time with just people, right? And, um, as I spend time with those people, you know, I, I really gather that, you know, and I don't think this is going to be any type of, uh, you know, controversial with the majority of you lovely people, but I, you know, I feel that the consumer should absolutely get what they want most of the time. You know, they, the consumer is the person who is 
you know, spending the money, they are your target. If you're not making... God damn it, this fish. If you're not making the consumer happy, you... Ugh, this fish! You've probably done something wrong somewhere. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit for a second. You've probably done something wrong there somewhere. So, I'm absolutely of the opinion that, in general, if a consumer uh, makes a complaint about your product... Hey! Goldfish, that's new. But if the consumer makes a complaint about your product, chances are good that you did something wrong that needs to be fixed, and you need to be the one to fix it. So, on the one hand, there's that. On the other hand, however, there is a, a certain level of entitlement that I think that consumers... Um, have kind of in general um, you know they, they deserve the thing that they want and they're going to get it and if they don't you know and they're going to complain about it uh, and the consumers make the complaints about the weirdest things and som sometimes the complaints they make are just outlandish like they're things that they should not be complaining about uh, Popeye goldfish. There's one more fish I'm looking for. I actually did go look up the list of fish just so I would make sure. Because apparently, um, March is actually the end of one of the seasons. So we're going to be expecting to see some of these fish to leave end of March. Well, naturally, that's in a couple of days. And I don't want to wait another entire year, but I also don't want to time travel. So, it doesn't give me much choice if I want to make sure that we get everything as soon as humanly possible. Um, yeah, I need to look stuff up. So, I'm actually going off a list of the uh, fish and um, bugs that we have not yet seen. And we're going to be kind of aiming for those. Uh, so, I'm going to be doing a couple of things to set up for that, because there is actually... Um, some requirements, especially for some of the bugs. But yeah, I... I feel that, kind of, in general... Consumers are very likely to just complain about bullshit. And they're gonna complain, because they know they're gonna get something for it. And that's, you know... If you're actually upset about something, that's one thing. And again... The consumer is the consumer. They're the ones spending the money. So, in a very big way, a lot of the time, they should get their way. That being said, there's also a lot of times where the consumer is making a complaint either just to get a handout or, you know, a discount or something like that. That happens a lot. Or they're making a complaint be for something ridiculous, like something that, you know... You, I don't know why you expect this. Uh, and so, you know, the question then becomes... If you're really gonna... If you're making this complaint... Sh like, should you? You know? <sighs> I don't know. I find, I find that this game is good. Like, I, I've been enjoying it. I mean, we're seven days in... Um, on a daily thing where I've been spending an hour or more a day... It definitely has that, uh, not in a bad way, but it has that phone game appeal in that, or, or maybe a progressive game, a clicker style game, but it has the appeal of, I can just play it for a little bit of time at a time, and I can just put it down afterwards. And yes, I do want to go back and play, and I can go back and, you know, gather and collect, but there's also definitely the understanding and the uh, awareness in my head that, you know... Oh, there it is. That's a ranch and goldfish. That's the other one that we were looking for. Um, you know, there's definitely the awareness in my head that... You know, sure, I could go back and play some more, but there's only so much I'm going to get done, Right? So, why don't I just save that for a little bit of time, you know, the next day? You know, you can really, with the, with how 
calm and peaceful this game is, especially as compared to a lot of other games that I play, there really is this cool kind of, this game is almost meditation, you know? We can kind of just relax, have some fun. Freaking squid. But it, it definitely has, I think, that feel to me of, I can just kind of relax for a bit. But I think this I think this game's fantastic, you know? I really do. I'm I'm a big fan of this game so far. Um I've been having a lot of fun with it. So to see someone or a group of someone's uh review bombing because of nitpicks. And remember these when I say review bombing, these are not you know, 6 out of 10, you can only get one, you know, there's only one town. These are zeros, you know, and a zero is egregious. That's, this game was shitty. This is a terrible video game. This game should not have been made. This game was a waste of money. Uh, this game is bad. And I don't know, like, sure, this game might not be your style, I dig it. You know, Animal Crossing is a very, um, you know, relaxing and kind of sit back and play sort of game. Uh, it is not, you know, it, it definitely isn't a, uh, you know, it's definitely a very different game from something like, okay. And I, I'm going around Isle Dekne saying hi to everybody. I have to get my brand out there, you know, let the people know a future pop star walks among them. Hold up, I just remembered. I called out to you because I have something to give you. So here you go. Oh, thank you. The cone is something I brought from my last island. It seemed like your kind of thing, so now it actually is your thing. All right, I'll leave it to you. The, is, is it actually a traffic cone? I think it's a traffic cone. We are looking for a small river fish. In case you're curious what I'm looking for right now. But yeah, gi giving something a zero. Like, I I'm, I'm as upset with people review bombing and giving game a zero for no reason as I am with how... Um, a lot of video game review companies nowadays will just flat give a video game a 10 out of 10. Like, I think both are just really bad reviews. I think, you know, a, a zero is, again, this game is shitty. This is a terrible video game. And a 10 out of 10 is, this is a masterpiece. And especially the zero, like sitting here, you know, this game didn't have one small feature I want, therefore it is a waste of space on this earth. That, that's a bit, you know, that's a bit much. So I don't know. There, it, it's a, it's a bit of entitlement. And what's kind of interesting is I was having a conversation with, uh, I was having a conversation with a couple of other guys, uh, part of a, my clan on Final Fantasy fourteen, And, uh, I have had some conversations with them where I have asserted strongly that there are some decisions that were made in Final Fantasy XIV, especially in some of the latest patches. Um, Ishgard Restoration, you know, being the big one. But there are some design decisions that I think were terrible design decisions, and I think that the developers really need to go back and fix some of this stuff, because it is, you know, it's making for a bad gameplay experience. Uh, and, you know, the... One of the guys said that I he feels I'm acting a little bit entitled. I'm like, you know what? You might be right. So I, I understand the entitlement. I do. Like, I believe me. It's not one of those where I'm saying, you know, you don't deserve your money's worth. But I think there's also such thing as an overreaction. And I think there's such thing as being deliberately a shitty person. And, and putting a zero for this game. I think that falls under you are being a, you know, you're legitimately being a shitty person. 
there's no reason for it. Thankfully, there's so many, you know, good reviews that, uh, yeah, you know, the game's still gonna have a good review, but every single, god damn it, this horse mackerel, it's at every size. Got a couple small ones, so I'm gonna go check them, even though they're not necessarily what I'm looking for. We'll try them. But, you know, it's one of those things, like, your... Uh, your zero is gonna bring down the rating of a good game, because, again, one small feature you wanted wasn't there. And a zero is a huge thing to overcome in a review. Like, zero is not a small thing. That's a pretty huge thing to overcome. A bunch of other people have to give you good reviews to overcome that one zero. And I know that because, again, I was retail. We had reviews as well. And any time that we got that zero, holy crap. If we got a zero, I had regional managers calling down asking what the hell happened. How did we screw up that bad? So, you know... I'm very aware of what a zero can be. And not gonna lie, a lot of the zeros we ended up getting, a lot of those zeros were not us as the retail people necessarily screwing up badly. A lot of them were, uh, just, why am I swapping out for horse mackerel? Um, a lot of them very much were just someone wanted to be compensated. Someone wanted something free. It happens all the time. I'm right here, let me go sell the stuff. So, you know, again, shitty, shitty stuff, you know. It, it's shitty things to do to a, to a company. Okay, well, we've had our hour. We got we got some stuff done. We're gonna go turn in some of these things. We got three fish. And paid off 40k of my you know of my loan. It's a good number. Warhammer likes that number. And there's still definitely a bunch of things that we're looking for. So as I said, chances are I'm going to end up... Um... Oh, hello. Are you who I want? You're tiny. Nope. Wrong tiny. Uh, chances are I'm going to end up going for the shooting stars um the problem is i don't know if it is a like if it if it is a meteor shower or if it's there will be a single shooting star so unfortunately i don't know if i'm actually going to be able to record it for you guys i would like to but i don't know how that's going to end up uh working out so we'll see what happens <coughs> But yeah, let me uh, let me know about your hobbies. I'm, I'm curious how you guys, again, how you guys treat hobbies. Uh, what are your hobbies? What what do you guys, you know, do for fun? What is your, what is the way that you pass time? I'm kind of curious. I don't necessarily have a lot of time lately, so it's not as if I'm going to be necessarily picking up a new hobby or anything like that. But, I would be kind of curious to know what you guys get into. Oh, hey. That's the bluegill. Cool. <laughs> Do you think it calls me a pink lung? Okay, a lot of things that we are looking for at this point are uh, later on in the afternoon. There is one more specific small fish that we're on the lookout for. Um, a nibble fish. And then we're also looking for, like, the anchovy. Wow, another new bluegill just that fast. I'm 
We've gotten most of these big ones. So I'm not really worried about them. I would love to see another big fish in that pond. Right there. Just because more koi are great. I don't have more bait, huh? Nah, I need to go get more bait. Alright. Let's go turn in our fish. We have four new fish to give to Blathers. I do have a decent list of stuff I still have to collect. So, we are, uh... Sorry, thought I heard a bloom. We're not done by any means. But let me know what you guys, uh... You know, what your hobbies are. If you guys go all in, or if it's just kind of a slow thing. And let me know how you feel about the consumer versus, you know, the, the complaint debate. Whether... Oop, let me pop back out because I think I just heard a balloon. Let me know if you if you think you should err on the side of the consumer or err on, err on the side of the developer. Or, you know, maybe it's a little bit both, but consumer should not be so, uh... Nope, if it was here, it's not anymore. But, you know, l let me know if you think that, you know... How, how should that be solved, I guess, is the is the question. How would you solve it? What kind of butterfly is this? Tiger. Okay. We're on the lookout for a peacock butterfly. Go turn these in. We'll be done for the day. It's been a good day. New donations. That, 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 and that. And you know what? We haven't gotten checked the, uh, the fish recently. And our fish log is not bad. There's the ponds, there's my koi. Bluegill, black bass, carp, koi. Nice. Man, I don't have any of the big ones. I really like this display though. This display is neat. Okay. Well, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments in the uh, comment section below. Again, let me know what you guys want me to talk about. I may even end up putting a uh, Discord up in my Discord. So that way you guys can leave you know, ideas or topics you'd like me to talk about. It's possible. But let me know. And I'll catch you guys next time.